good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, we'll start our players today with Ethan, Ethan Davis. Uh, raise your hand. We'll get you a mic. Rob, we'll start with you. D just Ethan, health wise, you know, how, how are you feeling? And, you know, how, how long from the spring, you know, did it take you to, to, to where you were kind of full speed? Um, I feel really good, cleared, completely healthy, collarbones 100%, no restrictions, no more shoulder celly for the, the old surgery last year. So I'm pretty much 100% ready to go for the fall. Ethan, I, I guess there's plenty of veterans and college experience in the room to, to help you and, and for you to lean on. What's it been like learning from McCollin and, and Jacob and, and kind of what's been their message for you? Um, both of those guys are like extremely great leaders. I've definitely learned a lot from them. Just learn how to leave young habits for young kids and learn how to grow into that role that I have to grow into in order to be ready to play this fall. Ethan, when you, you got here coming off the, the shoulder surgery last fall, and then mm -hmm. in the spring game you get hurt again, were you, were you initially worried that it, kind of a little bit that it happened again, or did you think it would be sort of a few weeks and you'd be good to go? Um, I, I kind of knew, like, I already knew that I was going to bounce back from it. I mean, it's not my first injury. I've done the rehab. I've gotten the surgery. Like, I've already done it before. So I already knew that as long as I took the steps that I needed to take in order to get back 100%, then I would come back perfectly fine. How did that impact your time between – spring and, and camp where you had mm. to maybe you couldn't work out as much as maybe you would want mm -hmm. to with the shoulder where you, where you uh, how I did mean you, yeah it didn't really like it affected a little bit but like it was so much time like it happened so early so I really still had my whole summer like by the time summer came around like I was already ready to go because we got that break after after the spring game so by the time summer came around I was already like ready to ease my way back into lifts and start running more so it all kind of just the timing was was good, you know, it was an unfortunate event, but everything played out perfectly. When you would watch Tennessee games the past season or so mm -hmm. and see how they would utilize the tight end, Princeton and Jacob sort of in different ways, like how would you react to watching that, how they were using the tight end, thinking forward mm -hmm. to when you would be here? Um, I just saw like the diversity of how they used the tight end. Like there were so many different positions, you know what I mean? Like Princeton from throwing the ball to, to get in the sweep, you know what I mean, and then catching the ball, and then Jacob, you know what I mean, just being a great blocker, catching the ball, finding great space. Just already knew coming in that they were going to use me the way that they wanted to use me and the way I wanted to use me. So it was just a good, like a, mm, both sides understood like what kind of player I was and how to use me. What is it about your ability at tight end that makes you feel you can fit into the position inside this offense specifically so well? Um, I'd say definitely like my route running ability, you know, playing receiver in high school. And then just being able to have Coach Abes teach me how to block, you know what I mean, how to really understand inside the box. So I just feel like I have the tools to be able to work out in space and learn from what I already know. And then having Abes being able to teach me everything that I need to learn inside the box and how to block good position, good technique, and things like that. How beneficial has, back here, how beneficial has it been for you to have a guy like Jacob Warren to learn after? I mean, Jacob, I mean, I've known Jacob since my junior year, like when I committed. So like just being able to know Jacob, I mean, like you don't wanna, like you wanna be Jacob Warren, you know what I mean? You want your son to be Jacob Warren. And so I really look up to Jacob as like a big brother and a really, like a really, I'm really proud of him. He's a great role model, I really look up to him. Ethan, one of the most talked about plays from the spring game was the, your catch on the sideline with uh, Nico's rollout. Take us through that call and how that all developed and how you look back on that play. So we got the play, and then so um, I ran the route. And so when I was running, I seen Nico start scrambling, and then Nico just pointed up and I already knew, like, I trust Nico, trust everything he does, trust everything he knows. So once he pointed up, I just turned up field because it was scramble drills, so I just turned up field. Do it to me. Had to make the play. Made the play. Is that a normal thing to see from Nico? Yeah. Yeah. He's a high level, high level quarterback. Sure, high level. Ethan, you, you talked earlier uh, about your role. What, what role do you envision having this season as a freshman? Um, honestly, just however the coaches want to use me. You know what I mean? Wherever they put me out, put me on the field and make the play, I'm going to go make the play. As long as they trust me, then I trust them. 
And when you committed and, and signed, you were going to end up playing for Alex Golish. What's it been like now working with Coach Ablin and, and that transition and, and getting to know him on a better level, I guess? I mean, the transition was like, like really easy. You know what I mean? Just Abe's is a great guy, like great guy. But what makes him even better is he's a great coach and he knows how to teach and he knows his players and how they understand how to learn and things like that. He just knows, he knows how to learn his players and know how to coach. So that's what made it really easy. Ethan, you talked a little bit about Nico, but I'm, I'm sure you guys got to know each other during the recruiting process, being committed for so long. But what's how appealing was that to you know when when you see the, you know when the top quarterbacks in the, in the class jump on board? What's it been like you know working with him and you guys learning the offense together? I mean, Nico's my guy. Like for for like I've known Nico a good amount. Like we met during our seven on seven out in California, and I'm from there. Like we've always kept contact, kept communication. And then when he committed, obviously, I was definitely excited because we got the quarterback that we wanted. And I already knew that we were going to make plays together and we were going to already have that connection and that, and that team chemistry together to go out there and do what we know both of us can do. He's coming out of the summer. Where are you at weight-wise now? Um, 235. 235. You, so. Did you do much blocking in high school? Has that been maybe your biggest adjustment, even going back to the spring? And, and how do you feel like you've come along in that, that area? Well, in high school, like we did do a lot of like screens, you know what I mean, like bubble screens, and I was outside blocking. So, but it's definitely different, you know what I mean, in the box on the line, blocking a 300 pound D lineman rather than a 175 pound linebacker, you know what I mean? But it just comes with me gaining weight, you know what I mean, and me getting stronger and knowing the techniques. And so it's been a really, a really good adjustment, you know what I mean? Just being able to bang up, you know what I mean, in the box, you know what I mean, and see how it is inside of there. Thank you. Good. All right. Y'all have a good day.